Let's begin. So as I mentioned before, in the beginning, my name is Joe Spenz. I'm the lead organizer of Space Apps NYC. I just want to thank, thank you. Uh, we're going to do thanks later uh, to all the organizers and sponsors and everybody, but I just want to thank all of you for coming out here this weekend. This has been a really great event, very fun. We all look forward to it every year, and we've all had a lot of fun. Um, and this, this year has actually been the largest Space Apps Challenge uh, ever, with over uh, 24,000 people across the world in uh, 200 locations in 70 different countries. Uh, this has been the largest uh, Space Apps to date. Uh, and I do want to mention that we do have a live stream going. Uh, it's been going all weekend, and we will live stream the entire demos. Uh, so please tell your family and friends. Uh, if you go to spaceapps.nyc, uh, the link to the live stream is on the homepage. Uh, we also, so we want to encourage you to do that. And also uh, tweet and share on Facebook, all across social media, uh, all the, your uh, comments and any uh, any of the presentations that you, uh, you find favorable and uh, we're gonna have a um, people's choice at the end so just keep a tally running of all the presentations and uh, share out your favorite using new space city and the space apps hashtag so now I'd like to introduce uh, Robert Carlson uh, the uh, operations organizer who has put together uh, the scheduling and all the logistics of the hackathon This is awkward. How about this one? Okay, I'll go with this one. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Thanks, everyone, for coming. We're really excited uh, that you all uh, chose to hang out with us over this weekend and participate in uh, this, our sixth uh, Space Apps Challenge. Uh, as Joe said, my name is Robert Carlson. I've been running around mostly behind the scenes, although I guess in front of the live stream a little bit as I was adjusting things for the, uh, the presenters on uh, Friday. Uh, but again, I'm really excited that you all chose to come out. So I'm just going to spend a few minutes to outline uh, what we're going to do for the presentations, uh, what the judging criteria is going to be, then introduce uh, the judges, and then we'll get started, all right? So um, to, uh, to start off, uh, we're going to let the sponsors have a few remarks. Um, the presentations will kick off uh, shortly after that. And then, um, yeah, there you go. So I'd like to bring up, um, I'd like to bring up uh, Socrata. Yes, Socrata to come up and do a few remarks uh, about their participation here at the Sacathon. Thank you very much. Um, try this one first. Okay. Thank you. Great. Hi, everyone. Who had an amazing time this weekend? Raise your hand. Woo! Um, I'm so honored to be part of this great weekend experience. This is Socrata's fourth time uh, sponsoring the Space Apps Challenge, and we've just been so inspired by all the different projects that you guys have created and just all the questions that you guys come up with. And I've had conversations from, you know, sustainability of food to the potential of, you know, measuring the mass of snow caps. So it's just very inspiring to have all these different conversations that have been sparked by this weekend. Um, so again, we're, we're really, really honored to be a part of this, and we can't wait to see the demos that you guys have created, and good luck to everyone. All right, we're going to bring up Alan from Kimi to have a few remarks about his experience this weekend. Alan? Hey, folks. Uh, this is Kimi's first time sponsoring one of these, and I've had a whole lot of fun here talking to everyone, and, see, and I, I look forward to seeing... Um, everything that, that you're going to show. Um, Kimi is a digital locksmith. Uh, you can take a picture of your keys and store it with us, and if you get locked out, instead of having a traditional locksmith drill out your deadbolt, you go to one of our self-service robotic kiosks, and we cut a replacement key from the image. Um, and we've got 500 kiosks in two dozen states, and we're hiring in case any of you are looking for jobs. Uh, it's you know, software engineers, but we do a lot of computer vision and machine learning and robotics, and it's a whole lot of fun. Um, Make sure to stop by my table. We're giving out bottle openers. I still have three t-shirts. They're all size small, but if you are a small, uh, come get a t-shirt. Um, and I look forward to seeing all the presentations. Thanks for coming. All right, now on to the real event. <clears throat> We're going to start with the judging criteria. I'm going to describe to you how we expect projects to be, uh, to be evaluated. Uh, I think I've sent out earlier some of the uh, tips about how you should do your presentations. Uh, and here's what the judges are going to be looking for. Uh, there are five criteria. The first is impact, creativity, the product itself, what are you proposing, 
Sustainability, how can this project move forward after this weekend? And presentation, how well did you communicate uh, your idea to us today? Okay, so that's what the judges are going to be looking for. We have five award categories. Here are the categories that we're going to be uh, looking to, uh, to provide awards or to, to, judge, uh, to judge the winners. Best use of hardware, best mission concept, most inspirational hack, galactic impact, and the best use of data. So those are the five categories that we're looking for. Additionally, two projects will be selected as our local best of show and will go off to be uh, judged by Space Apps Challenge Global. One of those global winners, or several of those global winners, one of those global winners, Sh Shobana, is it one of the global winners that are invited, or all five categories? All five categories. So all five categories at global level will be invited to come to NASA to watch a rocket launch. So it's pretty cool. Additionally, we will be having one People's Choice Award. So as Joe mentioned, as you're watching the presentations, think about which one strikes you the most. Immediately after presentations, we'll ask you to submit your, uh, your ballots, uh, kind of over where you picked up t-shirts. And one of the projects, one of your projects will be selected as the People's Choice to be submitted to global judging in addition to the two that were selected by the judges. Okay, so you have a lot of impact here as a community. I'd like to allow, introduce the, the judges that we have for you today. The first is uh, Shobana Gupta. She's an MD, PhD at the American Association for the Advancement of Sciences, uh, Science and Technology. She's a policy fellow for, oh, help me out. I'm a AAA Science <laughs> and Technology Policy Fellow, and I'm currently at NASA headquarters and have the privilege of helping lead this team, uh, lead this program, so I'm really excited to be here. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> what I was trying to get to at the end was Shobana is the project manager for Space Apps this year at NASA, so thank you very much. Okay. Secondly, you've seen him before. Uh, he's been around today uh, helping everybody out. Uh, this is Shane Glass, project manager for NOAA's Big Data Project. So Shane. <laughs> All right, our next judge, Nate Paget. He's been around helping people with uh, hardware projects. He is leading the creation of a new makerspace named Tech Shop. Yep, yep, yep. Tech Shop over at the Brooklyn Army Terminal. Uh, and finally, our fourth judge for today, uh, somebody who's very close to and dear to the hearts of the Space Apps NYC community, uh, one of the co-founders of Space Apps NYC, and now uh, also co-founder of Empire Space Labs? Sort of, okay. Mike Caprio. Mike Caprio, please. <laughs> so here's the presentation format. I think I've all sent out uh, several emails and several Slack notifications about the 240 seconds to glory, which means that you have four minutes to convince the judges that your projects are really the best of the best from New York, okay? Immediately after your four minute presentation, the judges are given one minute of Q&A. So if they have any uh, thoughts or comments or questions about your projects, please, uh, that's your time to shine. Uh, you can use your own laptop to do your presentation, uh, bring it on up and we'll plug it in. I think I've already mentioned the criteria and I've talked to people uh, about that already. Otherwise, uh, you can load your presentation onto this uh, laptop we have here. We're also going to announce the on-deck presentation. So when uh, the current team is going on, please assemble over here, I guess is a good spot, um, or maybe over, uh, over here is a good spot, I suppose. Just assemble, be ready to come up so we can do the changeover quickly. All right, so let's see. I will now give the list of the projects that we're going to uh, see so you get a sense of where you are in that order. We have 24 projects submitted, 24 projects. It's really exciting that all of you put this together. So the team in order are Alert, The Smoky Bears, Tip of the Iceberg, Unified Search, Space Odyssey, Gas Genie, Green NYC, Hack Pirateer, Code Clinic, Wildlife Go, Go One, Wildlife Go One, Geozoning, Will You Die, <laughs> Space Ghost, <laughs> Animal Watch, Flood Hydraulic Power, Terror Beasts, aka Penguin Armadillos. Oh, this one, uh, Tioni? Help me out. Who's here? Tioni? Tioni. Tioni. Waste Not, Aqua, H2O Go. Is that red with an exclamation mark? Who's H2O Go? All right, I'll do my best. H2O Go. Proxima, Frontierless, and Issy. And so we're ready to begin. So can the alert team come on up? And can the smoky bears get ready to go? Are you gonna plug in? Sure, here you go. 
Here's your connection. All right.